Assalamualaikum students. We will answer the questions on page number seventeen, unit number three, and lesson number three. So please open your copies. Use your marker or pointer for headings and for questions, and for the answers, uh, use your fountain pen, your blue ink pen. Make your title page like this. It's unit number two. Now skip a line. Unit number three. Lesson number three, topic, the Jungle Book. Our activity is question answers, page number seventeen. Please give two fingers cap, skip one line, so your writing will be neat and clean. Your question number one in your book is, which animals protected the the Jungle Boy from the tiger? After completing the question, skip a line and write answer. mother wolf and father wolf and in the same way you have to write the answers of the rest questions question number 2 in your book is why couldn't the tiger hunt wild animals so the answer is because he had a bad leg question number 3 what did the tiger eat instead you have the answer and it is uh, the tiger hunted and at men or people instead of animals your question number 4 in your book on page number 17 what happens if animals kill people so the answer is it brings men with guns question number 5 why was mogli alone in the jungle the answer is here because his mother and father got frightened and ran away Question number six: Why did Sher Khan become angry at the end of the story? The answer is because the father wolf did not give Mowgli to him. Question number seven: Why do you think the man cub went to the wolf's cave? The answer is because he was hungry. Dear students, it's a humble request in your honor. that please write it neat and clean on your copy moving towards question number 3 on your book page number 17 complete the sentences with the words from the story and dear students you have to use your pencils so take them out and start your exercise number 1 a baby wolf or bear is called a dash cub it's called a cub c u b cub means baby baby wolf or baby bear number 2 a deep hole in a hill where animals live is a dash cave c a v e cave number 3 big animals dash small animals to kill and eat them hunt h u n t hunt number 4 The entrance to a cave is called a dash marsh. M A R S H marsh. B E L O N G S belongs. Number six. People who steal things from other people are thieves. T H I E V E S thieves. Number seven. A large thick forest in Asia is called a jungle. J U N G L E. Now we will complete question number five. Many people have written stories about animals who can talk. Look at these ideas and say if you agree or disagree with them. Dear students, if you think that the given statements are right, uh, so we will write here agree, or if. you think that uh, these statements are not correct so we will write and disagree or if uh, you don't know the answer so we will we will use a dash okay number 1 animals can talk agree because no animal can talk number 2 animals can understand human instructions like stop agree we are agree with this number 3 perhaps animals can talk but humans don't understand their language 
so we don't know so we will use a dash over here and number four perhaps wolves can talk to wolves and monkeys to monkeys but wolves can talk to monkeys it's a dash and number five animals can't speak like humans but they use a language of noise we are agree with this number six some animals are cleverer than humans it's a dash and dear students we are done with all our exercises of this chapter see you in the next video till that allah face